Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 5th, and it's a uh, slightly overcast day here in southeastern PA. Uh, not too bad for this time of year. Not freezing, no snow, so we're happy. Um, excuse the rattling, I am uh, just about to pack this uh, mortar pipe from Rick Black with some McBaron Burley London Blend Burley, um, <clears throat> which is the current uh, trendy tobacco, because McBaron decided not to make it anymore, and then all of a sudden they decided they'd make it in a limited run, which I don't understand. I mean, if there's enough of a demand to make it in a limited run, why not just make it? Um, my guess is if it sells well, they will. Uh, I've had, this is probably my fifth or sixth bowl, so I'll talk more about that in a second. But today is Sunday. It's a bit later than I would normally be uh, making these videos, quite a bit later. I normally do these very early in the morning. It's uh, almost 3 o'clock, and we just had stuff to do today, so... And in case you didn't see my video uh, on New Year Day, New Year's Day, um, the reason I'm over in this corner instead of the usual chat spot is uh, that my sander is completely occupying that area because I had to take the whole thing apart. And uh, we'll be over here until I get the parts in to uh, fix the sander. So this is where we are. I did, uh, that video turned out to be quite a bit dark. I brought one of the... Um, spotlights over and I hope that that's fixed things a bit but we will we will see it's it's hard to tell actually looking in the viewfinder until I actually go ahead and, and edit the video it's really hard for me to tell so excuse me my tamper is out of reach here there we go so uh, it is Sunday there is still football to be played and uh, this afternoon at four I believe. The Eagles will play the Seahawks, and uh, I'm quite excited about that. It's a wild card game. Uh, a few weeks ago, to be perfectly honest, I didn't think the Eagles had a chance. Uh, if they win today, I think they got a 50-50 chance of winning today. I doubt very much they're going to go beyond the next step. Uh, they're just, they've got a lot of talent, they're just not playing well together. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice little treat that they're in the wild card game, but we'll see what happens. I'll be happy either way because yesterday, for those of you that maybe don't, sorry, that don't follow it or uh, just didn't pay attention, the evil empire fell. Yes, the Patriots lost. They lost, and it, they lost in just wonderful fashion you know exactly the way it's it was so much fun because you know the the, the media the the casters the sports casters that are that are calling the game they're just so in the pocket of you know whatever they think is popular now and they're everything was about tom brady and the patriots and bill belichick and it was just you know the, tennessee's driving for a touchdown that should seal the game and give Brady the ball back with like 30 seconds to go. Any other game, this would be, oh, this is going to be icing the game. No, in this case it was, oh, wait till Brady gets the ball. That's when he's at his best. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. And so he did get the ball with 30 seconds. They were, they were very accurate in their prediction. And he immediately threw an interception that was run back in for six points and iced the game. It was just wonderful. I'm telling you, if you're wondering why I'm so uh, against the, these guys... Uh, they cheat. They cheat terribly. They have, they have basically corrupted the game of football. And until they are gone, until uh, Belichick and Brady are no longer mentioned in discussions around uh, football games, uh, the game is corrupted. And <clears throat> you know, Belichick got caught again this year. They, the NFL announced yesterday that they are going to take disciplinary actions against the Patriots. Uh, this is the third time that he's been involved in a, in a scandal where they were blatantly cheating. And there's a whole list of other things he's done that were, frankly, you know, very much against the rules. 
if not uh, just as blatant. Such is life. They lost. And in other news, the Cowboys got knocked out by the Eagles' win last week, so that, that was nice, too. So, yeah, if the Eagles win today, it's going to be great, but if they don't, I'm still going to be a very happy guy. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the season has been a success uh, as of last night. So, uh, having this uh, London, I keep forgetting what it's called, London Blend. McBaron Burley London Blend. And... Uh, I gotta, I gotta admit, it's it, so it's very good, um, very good quality tobacco. It's a bit of a topping, a little bit hard for me to place the topping. It's got that McBaron flavor to it. Uh, McBaron has this top note that that is very distinctive. Um, there's some very nice cocoa notes in it. but it's remarkably mild, remarkably mild. Um, I, I, I have to, and this is going to sound disparaging, I don't mean it in a disparaging way, but in my opinion, this is Carter Hall Light. Um, it's good quality, burly tobacco. It's got a lot going for it, but it just doesn't have enough flavor to keep me interested. I put it in the same category as Velvet, and I know that's going to make a lot of you guys angry, but to me, Velvet is, is a good quality tobacco with a very well-executed topping and uh, easy smoking, you know, very good all-day blend. You don't have to think about it. If you do think about it, there's some flavor there, but it's just not, it's just not enough for me. I, I like things that are heavier and more complex um, today. Who knows what's going to happen in a... In a, in a few years' time, maybe <laughs> maybe I'll be back to, uh, to to praising something like Velvet. But to me, you know, something like Haunted Bookshop, something like well, even Carter Hall, to an extent, uh, has a bit more complexity than London Blend or, or or Velvet. And again, it's not I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those blends. They're both very good for what they are, but they're not what I want. So you know, it's like if somebody says I prefer ham over turkey, you you don't think they're anti-turkey. I think that makes sense. Wasn't planning on talking about turkeys. So, I go back to work tomorrow for the first time in three weeks, which will be an interesting <laughs> experience. And uh, uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's been a, a long time off and, uh, you know, it's been great. Got to do some things with my wife. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Got some. Got a lot of stuff done down here in the shop. Um, you know, the sander kind of derailed things, but I've taken advantage of the time. If you follow me on Instagram, there, <clears throat> there's this uh, Amish bread box sort of thing that I've been working on. I'll put a picture in. Uh, so this morning I put some shellac on that, and uh, yeah, it's 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 been fun. Uh, the weather's been mild. Uh, we've gotten rain the past couple of days. So that's not as good as it could have been, but, you know, all the outdoor things that we wanted to do were done. And we're pretty happy. So, time to go back to work. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes tomorrow. So I've decided... Um, during my last live stream or I announced during my last live stream that I'm going to start doing a monthly live stream and I haven't scheduled that yet but it's going to be the middle of the month um, very likely I'm going to do it on a Saturday in the middle of the month each month um, so I'll try to get that scheduled hopefully by the next time we talk uh, I'll have that scheduled and uh, those are those are a lot of fun. I enjoy them a lot more than I thought I would when when I first decided to do one. Uh, they're just they're just really a lot of fun. The only thing is I wish I could see the comments better. Uh, it's it's a problem. And uh, I might replace. I, I've been using my cell phone to to do them. Uh, I'm waiting for a new tablet to come in, which is a 
10 some fraction of an inch tablet um, and I may try to mount that up on the tripod and see if we can do the live stream with that uh, if so that would help a lot uh, if not it's, it's not terrible it's not so much that I can't see the print it's that they're going up and there's only a limited amount of space for them to go up in and then they vanish so it would be nice if there was a bigger screen where I could stack up a few more But I'm going to continue to do this as a monthly thing. Uh, I'm going to continue to do it as a as a uh, giveaway as well. I'm going to try to have a contest each month and just give something back to all of you guys that take the time to, to watch me. <clears throat> so please watch for that. And uh, once you once you see the uh, the announcement come out, at, request an alert so that you don't uh, don't miss it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And by the way, I heard, and I don't know, I don't know that this is true, but I've been having some issues uh, with my subscriptions, what, what, not my, not subscribers to me, but people that I subscribe to. I'll, I won't see any recent posts from them, any recent videos, yet I'll go look at someone else's video and I'll see that they have a video that came out within the past week on the, on that little sidebar. So I don't know why I'm subscribed to them, yet I'm not getting them in my list of subscribed videos. And I saw somebody recently say that if you don't click the alert bell, you will not be told when the next video is or something like that. So click the alert bells, guys. Um, I know that gets you emails and a lot of people don't like it, but uh, if you don't do that, you're probably going to be missing out on things. Yeah, I uh, like I said, this is this is really a very good blend that I'm just probably not going to ever buy again, uh, and that might be because it sells out and it's never available again. Uh, but it, it's it's good. It's just not my thing. I hope that makes sense. And normally I'd be thinking about maybe adding a little perique, um, just to see if I can I can bring in some spice or something. But this is this the top note on this is such that I don't think it would work well with perique. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just smoke it as is. It's it's not like I said. It's not bad. I hope you're all off to a great uh, start for the new decade, the new year. I hope all your resolutions are on track. My resolution wound up being to not make a resolution. I do have a few personal challenges, I'll call them, but I'm keeping them personal. Um, and I'm keeping them flexible. And we'll see how the year evolves. Nothing groundbreaking. Anyway, folks, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to go watch the Eagles hopefully win. If not, I wish the Seahawks all the best in, in the next round. Uh, what will be, will be. So, hope you've all had a great weekend. Looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.